cervical collar application and maintenance. Assess the skin, assess the child's skin for injuries, especially in the neck and upper torso. Use spinal precautions and the log roll technique throughout the entire procedure. Have an assistant positioned at the child's head to initiate manual cervical spine immobilization. Position the child with arms at his or her side and head at midline. The assistant places his or her thumbs on the mandible, palms over ears, and fingers on the occipital ridge. Position the child supine without anything under the head. Select the appropriate collar based on the child's age, height, and weight. See sizing guides specific to the collar. Children's collars are based on height and age and weight. Select the select, remove the selected collar from the packaging and ensure that the padding is secure. Separate and identify the front and back panels of the collar. Roll front and back panels inwards with both hands into a cylinder to preform the panels. With child in neutral alignment, slide the front panel of the collar up the neck and properly position the chin support. The front of the chin is flush against the chin piece. Center the back portion of the collar behind the child's neck. With the front portion properly positioned, use the bilateral hook straps and fasten the portions together. Remove slack from collar to prevent movement and migration. Fasten the straps one side at a time to equal lengths. Ensure that no gaps are present. Collar should not touch the tracheal area in the front. Adjust front and back flex tabs to improve fit and comfort. Perform a neurological exam and obtain x-ray imaging per the physician's order.